everybody and welcome to Making Mealtime Magic with me, Dawn the Kitchen Witch. And thanks for joining me today. We are going to make a fabulous summer fresh herb pomodoro. What does that mean? Well really a pomodoro is just a nice light tomato sauce. This one's going to take us about 20 minutes. We're going to use all of our fresh herbs from the garden, our basil, our rosemary. You can use as many of these herbs as you have or don't have. You can grow them yourself. You can get them from the grocery store. You can get them from your local farmer's market. However you get them, just make sure your herbs for this recipe are fresh. I'm going to be talking about fresh tomatoes, but you can use canned tomatoes. And of course, nothing is ever complete without a little cochina olive oil. We're going to start this recipe with the roasted garlic. So let's start by chopping our veggies, and then we'll go over to the stove and simmer up a little mealtime magic. So we've got all of our herbs laid out nicely here. Our fresh basil, rosemary. This here's oregano. Most people don't really know what fresh oregano looks like, but it's really beautiful. And if you let it grow a little too long, it gets these really pretty purple flowers on top. We'll get to that in a minute. And then I've got some sage and flat leaf parsley. I always recommend flat leaf instead of curly leaf. Um, I like cooking with it better and it's also way easier to chop. So you do not need to be a master cook or trained chef to do this, okay? You want your herbs to be kind of coarse because we want them to have a nice flavor and we want them to have a nice texture. Stems are fine when you're dealing with your rosemary or you're dealing with your basil. You just chop them up. Now I will say this, when we're using our fresh oregano, the easiest way to take the leaves off the stem, because I wouldn't use the stems when it comes to oregano, is to hold them like this and then you just pull and then I'm just going to chop that up, just give it a little bit more texture. There we go there. And then our fresh sage, cut those stems off because and fresh sage it smells so good. For your flat leaf parsley, again, you just want to get the tops of the leaves so it's nice and leafy and just chop them up. Again, coarse is fine. Maybe you don't like to chop herbs. Maybe you would rather just pull them apart. That's fine too. And we've got about a cup of fresh herbs here. Mix and match. Do what you like. It's cooking. It's like finger painting. You just throw it all together, do it with love. It's going to come out great. So a quick easy way to get the skin off your garlic, and most people already know this, but if you don't, here you go. Kitchen witch tip. Hold your knife flat. Use the palm of your hand, or the heel of your hand, and just press down gently. And the skin of that garlic just eh, falls right off. Isn't that nice? For this sauce, I tend to make my veggies, my onions, and my garlic a little on the chunkier side. Um, it's a very light, very fresh sauce, and I find the texture of the larger chunks of garlic and onion really lend itself well because they give it a nice, hearty feeling, even though it's so light. Now let's remember that onions are for banishing negativity. Going back to the old wives' tale of placing a cut onion next to your bed to absorb your bad dreams. Lots of places in the world, they still do that. So for this recipe, you wanna have the ripest, most beautiful tomatoes that you can find. Now, it is summer, so a lot of us are growing tomatoes. If you go to a farmer's market and you pick up some gorgeous heirloom tomatoes like this one, don't be concerned that they're not perfect. They are perfect. They're exactly the way nature made them. Look, this one even looks a little bit like a heart. Tomatoes are traditionally a love food, and we all know that. They are my favorite, favorite thing in the world. Um, in the summertime like this, I'm, I'm addicted to tomatoes, and because I don't grow my own, I tend to spend an awful lot of money on them. So we want to cut these up. You need a real good, sharp knife. Don't worry that they're different colors or different shapes or different sizes. When you cook it all, it's going to all taste amazing. i got to get away from having things that look like they came out of factories, especially when it comes to vegetables. So we're going to take all of our gorgeous tomatoes, fresh herbs, onions, and garlic, and go right over to that stove, cook up some mealtime magic. So we're going to start, as always, in the frying pan with a little Cucina Aurora infused garlic olive oil, and what do we always say? Shaking the bottle is the best part. All right, so we're going to coat our pan, about two tablespoons in there. Now this is going to be this sauce, this fresh pomodoro, is a simmer sauce. Now you may remember we did a spicy simmer sauce, uh, I don't know, last year. So if you like this idea of a 20 minute simmer sauce, check this one out and then go look at the spicy tomato simmer sauce. It's a very, very similar recipe, but we're using hot pepper in that instead of garlic like we are using in this. So we've got our garlic oil in the pan 
And we want to throw in our chopped up minced garlic. That is a lot of garlic. Recipe calls for three cloves and I use like five. And our onions. We're going to saute these up until they soften. So our onions and garlic have been sauteing for about five minutes and you notice they get this beautiful sheen to them. They almost, some of them become a little transparent. You don't want to stop this sizzle until these guys have lost any of their crunch. And as you're doing this, you always want to think about all those things that make you happy, right? Banishing negativity, happy things, positive energy, and how freaking good this is going to taste when you finally get to eat it. Let's turn our heat down just a smidge so we're on medium heat instead of high like we were before. And now we're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Now again, I use a can. You can always use your own fresh tomatoes and crush them up in the blender if you've got them. Give that a quick stir. Oh my goodness, that smells delicious. We're going to throw in all of our wonderful fresh herbs. A little fresh ground pepper. Always use fresh ground if you can. And a little salt. To your taste. Maybe you like it a little salty, maybe you don't. Whatever you like. And stir that up. Oh, look at it. Just looks like summer. Smells even better. And now all of our glorious fresh tomatoes. And right when I put this on before, when we first started, I put on a pot of boiling water, or water to boil, so we can throw our gnocchi in. So we're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes. It really doesn't need very long, maybe 15 minutes. And we're gonna add our gnocchi to our boiling water. Now in this case, I'm using gluten-free gnocchi, which is easy to find at your local health food store. Gnocchi is actually a potato dumpling. It's made of potato flour, and in this case, again, gluten-free flour. Okay, so our gnocchi is done, and I find that the best way to take the gnocchi out of the pan is to use a nice slotted spoon and just scoop it out. You want to make sure that um, you don't overcook your gnocchi because it will get mushy and gross. And look at our beautiful sauce. Our fresh tomatoes have just started to break down. All of those flavors are just so fresh. And you want it to be kind of chunky like this. So that looks good to me. You can, of course, you can let this simmer a little bit more. I've only been simmering this for about 15 minutes. So if you want a thicker sauce, you can take the lid off and let it go for about 20 to 25 minutes. And all that extra water will evaporate off and you'll have a thicker sauce. Scoop some generous helpings of that sauce right on top of that gnocchi. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Generous, generous, generous helping ah. Ah. of Parmesan. You know what I always say, everything's better with a little Parmesan cheese. I like a little fresh cracked pepper. And why the hell not? Let's make it pretty and add some fresh parsley. And there you have it, fresh pomodoro over gnocchi. Perfect for summer nights, perfect for summer afternoons, perfect for leftovers, perfect for you to enjoy. I'm gonna go grab a beautiful glass of rosé to go with my pomodoro. Have a wonderful time making this dish. Enjoy. <laughs>